Hi, and welcome to The Eyes Have It. Today I'm going to be talking about my five favorite skin care products. Things I only wear on my face. So let's get started. My first one is Olay Complete. The thing I like about Olay Complete is that it has an SPF of 15 in it, and that helps me have, you know, some sun protection all the time. It's a nice, thick lotion um, may not be something you want if you have oily skin but for me it's great because I have really really dry skin. Second is a product I've been using for many many years and that is Olay Regenerist Eye Lifting Serum. Comes in this little pump bottle. It's got a nice thin um, consistency and it's great for the under eyes. I also put it anywhere where I have sort of, you know, large creases or wrinkles, such as down here and up and my forehead crease right there. Um, uh, works really, really well. So I was sent this, um, Olay Sensitive Skin Night Cream to review and I was really excited because it has no fragrance. And that, to my experience, has been relatively unusual in a night cream. I'm very fragrance sensitive, and so it drives me crazy when the makeup manufacturers put all this fragrance in things, especially when it smells like high-end perfume. This is a relatively heavy cream. Um, it goes on light, but I mean, when you see it in the container, it's a little bit on the heavy side. Now these last two items, anybody who knows me and knows how crazed I am about the whole fragrance issue uh, would be surprised to see these two things on my list. But I like them so much, I kept them on my list. I was sent this Neutrogena um, Ageless Essentials Continuous Hydration Night Cream to review about two years ago. And I opened it up the first day it arrived and it had fragrance. The fragrance is not awful. It's not, it's not perfumey. It's, it is kind of a, kind of a pleasant cold creamy sh sort of fragrance, I guess. At the time, it felt like, you know, oppressively fragrant to me. But, um, what happened was, I am one of those people, if you send me something to review, I'm going to try my best to use it. And since this had fragrance in it, and the first night I put it on, I laid down in bed and I couldn't even sleep because of the fragrance. I had to get up and wash it off. So what I started to do is I started to use it on my hands. And it's usually the last thing I put on as I walk out the door. I put it, I rub it on my hands. It's really done a wonderful job of moistening my hands. One of the things I love the most about this, although they have changed it since I started using this product, but it has the most amazing consistency. Like, it's unlike any other product that I have used. It's almost like a silicon, and you can't really tell it from looking at it here probably, but it's almost got like a silicon-based um, cream, and it's so silky and smooth, and um, it does a really, really good job. So I continued to use it, as a hand cream. I don't mind the fragrance so much on my hands, but right, right on my face, it was too much. This last one, I just recently got, I guess about a week and a half ago, and it has a lot of fragrance. It is that high-end perfume smell. And it is a, a L'Oreal Revitalift Concentrated Serum comes in this really nice glass jar with a pump and you know for a serum it's quite large when you compare it to this little uh, Olay eye serum it's quite a big jar and you know the first day when I received it like the other one I tried it I was like oh you've got to be kidding me and I thought you know what I'm just gonna give it a try and I'm assuming that it's because this has desensitized me a little bit to the fragrance in creams. Just the fact that I use it on my hands every day. I did, I was going to give it a try, so I've been using it. They say to use it in the morning, um, in, in the evening, 
And in the morning, you're to use it before you put on your daily moisturizer. So I usually put it on, and then I wait. I put it on my face and neck, and then I wait a minute or so while I'm doing something else, brushing my teeth or something. And then I'll put my regular daily moisturizer on, which is the Olay Complete. Um, and miraculously... The fragrance really hasn't bothered me that much. It bothers me a little as I'm putting it on. Like, I'm, I'm right here with my hands, you know. It bothers me there. But once it's on, and especially once I've put my moisturizer on top of it, I don't really notice it that much. I'll notice it on my hands, if anything, but not so much on my face. So, I've continued to use it because in under a week, in under the first week that I had it, I was laying in bed one night, and I just, I was like brushing something off my face, a dog hair or something, and I could not believe how my skin felt. And I, my skin is, while it's dry, it's generally pretty soft, but it was like beyond soft. And it was also that feeling of just the smoothness and like it had replaned, you know, my skin. It was so, um, I don't know, so tight and um, smooth. So I decided I was going to continue to use it because it promises that resurfacing um, benefit in the first week. And then... There's another promise in two weeks, and then another promise in four weeks. So I'm at, like I said, about the week and a half mark. And one thing it promises that I have not seen any change in is uh, an improvement to my dark spots. I have not seen any change in that. And then one of the other promises is sort of a illuminizing effect. And what I think is happening, and I could be completely off my rocker. But um, it seems to me I've been very tan this summer, more than most summers. But all of a sudden, I'm noticing my skin is lightening up a little bit every day. Now, maybe it's just I haven't been to the beach in two weeks. I don't know. But I'm wondering if this is more of, like, kind of bleaching my skin. I, I don't know. All I'm thinking is... My whole face seems to be getting lighter, but the spots aren't disappearing. So uh, here again, week and a half in, I'm going to try to give it as close to a month as I can before I review it. So those are my five. Two other things I want to mention that are not in the top five, but I just wanted to give mention to. One good and one bad. This is the um, Clinique Even Better Dark Spot Corrector. I used this for about a year, maybe even a little over a year, and I saw almost no reduction in my dark spots. So I would not really recommend that. One thing I would recommend, if you look looking for a good body lotion, and especially if you have really dry skin like I do, use Serin Plus. It's really important to look for this plus and to look for this teal cap because there's there are multiple kinds of Eucerin. Eucerin Regular has a white cap, and all the Eucerin Plus have the teal cap. And this particular one is Eucerin Plus Smoothing Essentials, which is a lighter weight version of Eucerin Plus um, that I began using 20 plus years ago at the recommendation of my then dermatologist. And I have severely dry skin, and in the winter, my skin can itch so bad that I literally cannot sleep. And so I started using this at my doctor's recommendation, and I've used it ever since. Um, and just in the past year or so, they came out with the Smoothing Essentials, which I actually prefer in the summertime because it's more lightweight, whereas the real use in Plus, only those of us with severely dry skin can use that because it is really, really heavy and greasy. But I just want to give a shout out to that, even though this is a face products thing. Um, so I hope you're having a great day and a great summer, and I will see you soon. Bye.